today we're going to do some polishing and brushing on the strings with our left hand to aid us in having a coordinated vibrato. So the first thing we're going to do is take a tissue and just open it up this way, then fold it into fourths. That usually works the best, although any folding would be fine. And place the tissue on top of the strings and hold your instrument in rest position while you're doing this and then make sure you don't have the tissue underneath your thumb and then let's just polish the string so what we're polishing with will be the middle two fingers and the other two fingers are going to be up and just curved in the air the thumb is very light on the fingerboard um, and touching the side of the neck here and as we do this we're going to pay attention now at about this speed to what the arm is doing. Our left arm is in a very balanced way moving as it, our right arm did if you've seen the bowing videos where we were doing sort of a salt shaker with the bow arm the elbow would go up while the hand went down and vice versa sort of like a teeter-totter. The same thing is happening in the left arm when I'm doing this brushing action which is preparing us for a really coordinated vibrato. So take a look at your arm. Don't try to make it go this way because when you think about it too hard, it doesn't, it, the, the muscles start to conflict. So just to think about maybe shaking a can is a good way to think about this. A paint can getting ready to do some spray paint or oh, a salad dressing. You're just shaking something up. And when you do that, you're naturally doing the correct motion for this brushing. So do the brushing very light. I'm barely touching the strings with my fingers and whether my fingers are going in between the strings or on top of the strings doesn't matter at this point. And now what we're going to do is just brush in this first position which is down in, in the low part of, this, of the fingerboard and then gradually work our way up to middle position. And if you remember <clears throat> from previous videos, middle position is where the thumb is in the curve of the neck right here and it's the tip of the thumb that is there. So what we have to do, and I haven't explained this previously, is we're going to move this direction while we're brushing about halfway toward that curve of the neck. We're going to keep the thumb in that same position and then when we get to about the halfway point we're going to begin moving the thumb, I'm going to do this in slow motion, very gradually into this position which is going to be the tip of the thumb in the curve of the neck. So there's sort of an angle that it has to take rather than coming all the way up here and then abruptly going into middle position. So let's try that. I'll do it from this angle so you can see. We'll get the arm moving correctly, brushing very lightly. Notice again that your fingertips are very curved and your outer two fingers are in the air, very soft fingers. And now as we go toward the middle position, let's start moving up that way. Now we're about at the halfway point. Now we want to begin bringing the arm around so that the thumb can get into this middle position. And when the thumb gets there, the thumb sticks to the curve of the neck while the fingers are still doing the vibrato motion in the, in the polishing of the strings. Now let's do that exact exercise but without the tissue and this will be the brushing so you'll feel that light airy feeling the Kleenex helps with with that feeling the tissue is a really nice way to loosen up your hand and stay soft so here we go we're in rest position let's do the whole thing middle two fingers on top of strings in between strings doesn't matter at this point outer two fingers are up we're brushing in low position gradually moving up toward middle let the elbow come around so that the thumb tip will now stick and now we're in middle position. So that's a good way to help coordinate your hand. Now let's try all of that up in playing position. Let's go back and get the tissue and I'm going to start in rest position but I'm putting my right hand down here on the lower bout so that I can gradually move up into playing position while my hand is moving. So let's start here, have the tissue there, position your fingers, start brushing, low position, 
Let's stay in low position as we move now, gradually keeping this moving, brushing the whole way up and get into playing position. And now we have this beautiful soft left hand in low position. Now let's just start gradually, keep holding here while you're doing this, gradually moving up into middle position. So we're going to come about to the halfway point. Now begin moving the elbow around and let the thumb stick into the curve of the neck when you arrive into middle position. And your arm might be moving or you might be doing, like I'm showing now, just your hand. You're either doing an arm vibrato or a wrist vibrato. Either one is fine. When you're learning especially, do the one that is the easiest one for you. Eventually, advanced players should be able to do either. Okay, so that is the, with the tissue. Let's do one more, this time without the tissue, but moving up into plank position. Start in rest position. Hand is ready. Right hand is on the lower bout. Brushing. Very lightly touching. Remember not to squeeze. If you squeeze, you're going to have trouble with this. Two fingers in the middle of the hand because that helps balance the hand. Now gradually move up into plank position while you're brushing. And now we're in playing position. And now let's start gradually moving up into middle position. Thumb sticks into the curve of the neck. And that should help coordinate your vibrato. You will start with the waving and tapping exercises. And then this would be the next step of brushing from rest position moving into playing position.